established uh, a research center in Rakai simply because that's the first area that we first reported HIV. Uh, at the time we did, uh, HIV was mainly, was in Uganda, H Rakai was severely affected by HIV. It had was some of the highest HIV prevalence rate. So the disease burden at the time we started was much higher. But now we know that it has spread throughout the country. The results, therefore, alludes to the fact that combination prevention actually works. However, at this point in time, there's a difference in impact between men and women, purely because men are not as many, as not on treatment as much as women, and also they have circumcision. So we need more efforts towards women, I mean towards men getting on treatment, so they can also protect the women and also to have other prevention measures for women to protect themselves. And we are really now talking about really scaling up and introducing uh, PrEP or what they call um, prophylaxis uh, to, pro uh, to prevent yourself from acquiring HIV. We have made ourselves some commitments. You know very well that the president has launched the presidential fast track initiative for ending AIDS by 2030. And in that initiative, there are five pillars that we are trying to focus on. The first is to consolidate, test, and treat. We launched the test and treat policy in November 2016. And in this policy, we want to treat all individuals, all individuals, irrespective of their immune status. We estimate that we now have a population of about 1.3 million people who are living with HIV in Uganda. Currently, we have been able to reach over 1,028,000 Ugandans on ART. So we have another about 300,000 that we want to reach through this test and treat policy. The second pillar is to make sure that we focus on bringing men into care. We want Professor Salora talking about this. We want to work out methods of how we can reach men. Men don't come for services. They have poor health-seeking behaviors. Uh, so thank you very, very much. So I think it, it is now time for us to hear some remarks from 